Good morning, children. Welcome to Ames India Online Classes. This is biology session. You are watching sense organs part four. So, from the past uh, two videos, we are discussing about uh, human eye, its structure, its function. So, in today's video also, let us discuss more about uh, the mechanism and the functioning of uh, the human eye. Okay. Are you ready children? Let us proceed. Activity number 5. Observe the iris and its uh, surrounding of your friend's eye. Okay. So, your friend eye you keenly observe. Which part you have to observe? Iris and its surrounding. Can you find uh, the pupil? Yeah. Now, observe the colors and patterns in the iris, colors and patterns in the iris of your friend's eye. Is there any difference from one another? Observe the colors and patterns in the iris of your friend's eye. Is there any difference from one another? Yeah. So, select a minimum of 10 members your friends okay, and note the results means you compare. So, use a hand lens for close observation you need a hand lens or a magnifying glass record your observations in your notebook. Okay, so, here you can see the eyelids this is the pupil the central one the slit like opening, then uh, it is the sclera, it is outermost layer and this is the iris, the colored part. Okay? You match, you compare the color of the iris of uh, one of your friend with another friend like that, at least minimum 10 members, if you take the observations, you will uh, find the difference. Okay? So, this is the structure of eye once again uh, here the ciliary body cornea then uh, this is the iris part uh, in lens ciliary body sclera is outermost layer retina is the innermost layer choroid is the middle layer this is the optic nerve there are two chambers are there this is uh, here the aqueous chamber and here vitreous humor or vitreous chamber. Okay. Now, the lenses in our eyes are very special, they are very special biconvex and uh, crystalline in nature. Their shape is adjustable to some extent uh, that is uh, their focal length can be changed with the help of uh, the ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. Okay, the ciliary muscles and suspensory uh, suspensory ligaments uh, help the lens to held in position. Okay, the focal length is changed due to the position of these uh, ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. Okay, they can change the shape of the lens uh, from a moderately to more convex. Actually, it is a biconvex. Okay, so it the uh, shape of the lens uh, may may be the moderately to form to more convex uh, form. Okay. So, this is the lens. So, this is the ciliary body and um, suspensory ligaments are also present here only here. This is the ciliary body the suspensory ligaments are present uh, here they held the lens in position up and down. Okay and the focal lens will uh, adjust because for the formation of image uh, focal length is very very important. Okay? So, as the age progresses that there are two defects are there in the eye that is one is uh, myopia and second one is uh, hypermetropia. Myopia means short sightedness, the short sightedness what happens means uh, the image form in front of retina, sometimes it forms in the back of the retina. Okay? So, but uh, exactly on the retina the image should be formed in a healthy person. Okay? 
Next another activity, enter into a dark room for a very bright place. From a very bright place, enter into a dark room. So, visual disturbance, what happens? So, blurness, visual disturbance occur. Sit in a dark room for some time. Now, then go into a bright light room what happens? So, once again the visual disturbance because the cells which are present in the eye they are called photoreceptor cells. So, these photoreceptor cells has to adjust. Okay? So, for that adjustment uh, it will take a few minutes or few seconds. Okay? First what uh, you have done? From a dark room you are entering into a bright place. Then uh, second, um, sit in a dark room for some time, then go into a bright light room. Okay? Do you know the impression, the impression of an image stays in the retina for about 1 by 16th of a second. If the still images of an object are flashed at the rate faster than 16 seconds, faster than 16 per second, then the eye receives it as moving. Okay, if it is uh, flashed at the rate of faster than 1 by 16th of a second, then what happens? The eye receives it as a moving object. So, this is how we see the movies. Okay? So, in that uh, movie, the film will rotate uh, that many times. That is why we can able to see the images, pictures. Okay? Now, eye and illusions, another activity, the activity number 7, the beautiful activity, see half of this lesson about the human eye only. Okay? We have been discussing, this is the fourth video. Take uh, two pieces of white papers with the same size. Okay? Take two pieces of white papers, same size draw the picture of a case on one paper and uh, the parrot on the other paper. So, what you have to do? You have to draw the picture of a case on one paper and the uh, picture of a parrot on the other paper. Then uh, insert a stick and attach the blank side of the paper with gum. Okay? with the help of gum, you stick the blank side of the paper to the stick. See the adjacent figure. Let it dry, then twist the stick rapidly, okay? forward, backward, upward, downward. Okay? So, twist the stick rapidly. What do you notice? you will see some uh, illusion. Observe the following figure like this, see. Are these lines straight or uh, uh, if uh, they move, okay, they are not uh, straight, zigzag, is not it? So, straight means it must be like this, but it is not uh, straight. There are some stripes are there okay. and if you see like this also. You will see they are not uh, so straight, somewhat slightly tilt. Okay? So, here you can see the figure B, which one is uh, having uh, big circles in the center, here small circle surrounding big circles, here small circles, the big circle is surrounded by small circles, you observe keenly. So, what illusions tell us about sensation? Okay. Optical illusions, they are called optical illusions. When your mind deceives you by interpreting a stimulus pattern incorrectly, okay, it is called illusion. Okay. You are experiencing an illusion. Okay. When you are experiencing an illusion, 
when your mind deceives you by interpreting a stimulus pattern incorrectly then you are experiencing a illusion okay so magicians will uh, uh, do this okay you might have attended magic shows they are all optical illusions okay the stimulus pattern interpreting incorrectly that state of mind is called a illusion such illusions can help us in understanding some fundamental properties of sensation and particularly the discrepancy between what we see and external reality okay there is a difference between the reality and an illusion isn't it so let's uh, first examine the black and white grid as uh, you stare at the center of the grid note how dark fuzzy spots appear at the intersections of the white bars so you can see the same figure okay let us first examine the black and white grids here black white black white black white black and white grids as you stare means one by one from bottom to top or top to bottom stare at the center of the grid center of the grid note how dark fuzzy spots appear at the intersections of uh, white bars intersections of uh, white bars okay so here are these lines straight or not no they are not straight okay so what illusions tell us about the sensation let us continue but when you focus on an intersection the spot vanishes okay why the answer lies in the way receptor cells in your visual pathways interact with each other okay so here you can see why do the dots disappear so you can see you can find a dot in the middle but uh, the dot disappear why do the dot appear gray painted at the intersections of the grid intersections means here these are the spots where uh, these uh, lines uh, coincide okay intersections of the grid which lines is similar here you can see okay so the the la the answer lies uh, the, for the for this question why do the dots appear gray painted at the intersections of the grid means the the answer lies in the way receptor cells in your uh, visual pathways interact with each other okay the functioning of the certain cells that are sensitive to light dark sensitive to light dark boundaries inhibits inhibits means stops the activity of adjacent cells that would otherwise detect the white grids okay so here the functioning of uh, certain cells that are sensitive to light dark boundaries light dark boundaries inhibits the activity of adjacent cells that would otherwise detect the white grid lines that's why we unable to see the dots or we are seeming to be uh, an illusion is created that the dots disappear okay this makes you see the grayish regions even though you know that the squares are black and the lines are white even though the squares here the squares are black and the lines are white it appears to be gray okay you know that the squares are black and the lines are white 
this knowledge cannot overcome the illusion this knowledge cannot overcome the illusion okay and here which line is similar here so this two lines are here okay only this portion from here to here from here to here they are similar okay so now let us uh, come to the diseases and the defects of the eye very important because as the eye is the most important and uh, very sensitive sense organ okay the main diseases that uh, are the defects of uh, the eye are night blindness okay what is night blindness unable to recognize the objects in the dim light okay unable to see the objects uh, properly in the dim light or after sunset it is called night blindness then xerophthalmia xerophthalmia is another uh, eye disease this is also called a dry eyes disease in which uh, the lacrimal glands uh, stop functioning okay i become like a desert xerophthalmia okay break of uh, cornea occurs due to this disease then myopia myopia is also called near sightedness or short sightedness okay and hypermetropia it is also called far sightedness or long sightedness and another one is glaucoma okay and cataract cataract uh, is uh, uh, the disease in which uh, a layer is formed over the retina okay lead to blurred vision okay and uh, it can be corrected by surgery then another one is uh, color blindness it is a disease uh, genetically related disease okay genes related disease of eyes so some persons may have eye defects by birth due to various reasons so ask uh, uh, discuss in the class okay about these eye defects and write one or two sentences for uh, each in your notebook okay for example night blindness night blindness is caused due to which one due to deficiency of vitamin a xerophthalmia okay it is uh, due to the normal functioning of uh, lacrimal glands myopia short sightedness okay or near sightedness hypermetropia far sightedness or long sightedness then glaucoma okay it is uh, due to the accumulation of the sugar in the eye okay then uh, cataract formation of layer color blindness genetic related so here one uh, uh, example image is given the symptoms of xerophthalmia dryness of the eyes okay what are the symptoms uh, blurred vision then uh, eye crusts are formed see here like this sensitivity to light okay irritation then tiredness of eyes redness in the white portion of the eye itchiness of the eye then uh, dryness and burning sensation then stinging in the eye okay so these are the symptoms of uh, xerophthalmia okay it may lead to permanent blindness okay whereas nutritional blindness is the night blindness is called nutritional blindness due to deficiency of vitamin a it occurs okay taking care of eyes very important you know the sayings uh, sarvendriyanam nayanam pradhanam how you take care of your eyes it's very important so let us observe the following checklist here one checklist is given okay and uh, how you will take care wash eyes with fresh water at least thrice or four times per day yes or no children yes you need to clean with fresh water at least uh, three or four times a day the next uh, keep uh, the distance between the book and the eye about uh, 25 centimeters while reading it is very important okay how much distance you are maintaining that uh, 
help a doctor to recognize whether you have sight or not. Okay, the optimum distance between a book and uh, your eye is 25 centimeter while reading. Okay, yes. So next, uh, don't uh, give continuous stress and strain to the eyes. Stop the work uh, for some time whenever your eyes feel stressed yes okay continuously watching videos continuously uh, what do you call watching tv okay the three hours for example when you sit in a movie and come out how much uh, stress your eyes uh, you feel uh, okay whenever uh, you feel uh, eyes are stressed uh, you need to give the rest for them so eat food materials like green leafy vegetables carrots okay etc rich in vitamin a yes okay in order to maintain the health of the eyes you need to take these food materials green leafy vegetables and carrots red colored fruits your papaya okay so they are rich in vitamin a help your eyes uh, to stay healthy okay next how do you take care of your eyes so let us observe the following checklist and um, how okay work under good lighting definitely so you have to see whenever you are reading okay light should fall on your notes or on your book yes so don't rub your eyes if anything falls in them just wash the eyes immediately with the cool and clean water yes this is also very important remove the dust in the eye by using tongue ring blowing air etc okay so carefully you have to remove okay you should not rub it consult the eye specialist immediately whenever you are whenever you face any vision related problems yes immediately you have to consult a eye specialist ophthalmologist he is called okay avoid uh, to see lightning gas welding sparks eclipse etc yes okay you need to follow these instructions to in order to protect your eyes okay at most care you have to take because it is the most important sense organ. Okay. Hope you followed children. Read the textbook. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.